Hello everyone, this is Susie Q of Susie Q's Bunting Babes. And today I have my little baby Sophie with me. She's the Michelle Sculpt by Evelina Wozniak. And um, Sophie, I'm going to be changing Sophie into um, a fresh new outfit today. Um, and so before I do that, I wanted you to notice that she has her little, um, her little bunny cuddle toy with her. Um, this is the toy that hangs out with, um, with little Sophie, and um, it's a toy that I made. Um, uh, it was last summer, I think, is when I made this little uh, bunny, and I fashioned this little this little girl after my own bunny that I have, um, that's named Benji. And so, but my Benji is a male bunny, but this one is a little girl. And um, what I did was I gave this little bunny um, pretty blue eyes and um, mostly white fur. Um, my Benji bunny has mostly white fur except for a couple of uh, little black splotches here and there. Um, and so the interesting thing too about this little bunny is I don't know if you can see the little um, whiskers on the sides of her face. Uh, I, I made those out of fishing line really really thin strong fishing line and um, I threaded the fishing line through a needle and then poked the needle through the um, the fabric and um, that's what I did so uh, anyway this is this is Heather and um, she's got her own little um, name collar that I um, made for her and she's really soft she's got uh, I put um, glass beads in her paws and in her feet and then the rest of her is filled with polyfill. So she's really, really soft and cuddly for baby Sophie. And I'm so I'm going to put um, Heather down for now. Um, and I will show you what we're going to be putting on little Sophie today. She is going to be wearing, um, it's a three-piece outfit. Um, and it's by Carter's. And so it's um, got, it's, um, the jacket is made of plush, and it's got these cute little heart pockets. And then the onesie um, has these real pretty polka dots on it, and also it's got this really nice edging there. And then um, the it, it this outfit also came with these really pretty um, flowered little pants. Um, which has um, all kinds of different little um, pinks, uh, different colors of pinks and melon and that type of thing um, as the colors, and then uh, splotches of yellow. So um, I just thought this would be a cute outfit for Sophie to wear, and I haven't changed her in a while, um, ever since um, after Christmas. And I found this bow that um, will go on her hair too. She doesn't have a lot of hair, so I like to put bows on her, um, on her cute little fuzzy head. And then, um, along with the outfit, I'm going to be putting these little um, Mary Jane shoes on that are uh, a light pink that goes along with some of the flowers that are in her pants. And then these um, cute little pink Mary Jane socks uh, with the, the satin bow. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, yeah, I haven't changed Sophie um, since after Christmas. Actually, no, I'm sorry. It was before Christmas. It was um, it was when I put all my baby dolls, I had taken all my baby dolls out of their Christmas outfits and put them into their PJs so, so that they could um, wait for Santa to come. And this was on Christmas Eve. And so Sophie, uh, she's still got her PJs on waiting for Santa, but um, Santa already came and went, and so it's time to get her changed um, into a more um, appropriately um, uh, seasoned outfit. Sophie is one of the baby dolls that I uh, put a new body on, and... Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, she, um, I wasn't real satisfied with the body that she had before. Um, and sometimes what happens is when I get a new doll and I'm in love with them, 
except for their body, I, I'll just change it out. And so those of you who know, know me, um, they know that about me. And so I put um, a new body on Sophie. This, it's, a, it's a much uh, nicer one. Um, it's just, I think, more, appro more appropriate for her, for her sculpt. And so um, I love the new, she didn't have one of these tucked type of bodies where it's tucked in the front and then um, the back has tucking um, up and down the, um, the little bum area. So, um, and I'm going to keep these cute little butterfly, um, this cute little butterfly diaper on her because um, I think it just really goes cutely with uh, the flower, uh, the flower pants. So let's put this, um, I'm going to go ahead and put this bow aside for now. And let's see what we can do about getting Sophie into a new outfit. Well, I'll tell you what, Augie is into another adventure today. Um, now, nobody tattled on Augie today, but I just happened to notice that um, he was carrying around a new teddy bear. And it, actually, it's not a new teddy bear. This, this uh, teddy bear actually uh, belongs to... Um, my my little um, Elmo, remember Elmo's little teddy bear that he 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 has to uh, cuddle on to make him feel safe. Well, Augie decided to adopt that little teddy, and as you can see, you may be able to see him in the window right now, um, and I will show you uh, Augie and Teddy in just a moment. Um, Augie has decided that he needed a little mini-me to teach the ways of the snow bear to, because he didn't have anyone that he could, you know, um, tell all the stories and um, everything that happens in the, in the snow, snow bear world. And so he adopted um, uh, Elmo's little bear, and he named him Mini Me. And so um, that little bear's name is Mini Me, and he's going to be following Augie around in all of his adventures so that he can learn the um, the stories and the ways of a snow bear. And um, Augie was um, he just had to to you know carry carry down his um, traditions with someone, and um, so I think he found the right. The right one to do that with. So um, let me go ahead and give you a close-up of these two little mischief makers. There's Augie and then you'll remember this little this tiny little bear that um, poor little Elmo had to hug after his uh, puppy um, his puppy fiasco. And so I think Elmo's okay now. Um, and he's well enough to give up his, his teddy. And we'll also get Elmo another toy. But this is Mini-Me. This is little Mini-Me. And um, so Augie's going to teach him all about the world of being a snow bear. And um, Mini-Me has um, his little legs and his arms are... Um, on rings so that you know he can sit down or he can stand up. He's just a cute little bear. He's the smallest bear I've ever seen actually. So um, I really love him too. So Augie, um, have fun telling stories and um, teaching the ways of the snow bear with your little mini me. And so we'll just put them back in the window so that they can continue to do that while we get this little girl dressed. So yeah, I think this is going to work out really good for her. Um, there's her little, she's got a little pants on and put her little um, jacket on. It's really cute. It, you know, you can, you could put in almost any onesie, long sleeve or short sleeve even onesie underneath this. But um, it came with a polka dot and I really like that look. 
And so we're going to keep it. And oh my goodness, look outside. Look at Augie. Um, this, we have not seen the sun in days. And all of a sudden, the sun's coming out. Oh my goodness, what the world is going on. Uh, hope it stays out today. Um, all of our, most of our snow is melted. There's a, a few little icy spots outside, um, but most of it is gone. And, uh, you know, all that buildup of um, getting snow and making snowmen and stuff um, last week was just, I guess that was just a taste of things to come. <laughs> so, all right, let's put her little, her little shoes and socks on. Oh, yes. Go ahead and, yeah, these socks, um, the color in this pink goes perfectly with the light pink um, flowers that's in her cute little pants. And I love this bow. This bow is going to look really nice outside of her shoes. Oh, here we, yep, see, her feet are so small that I was just able to um, slip her shoes right on. Did you see that? Did you see how sneaky I was? Um, this shoe is, is unbuckled, so what I'm going to do to make it easy is I'm going to buckle it up like this before I put it on her. And um, that way it's so much easier. Let's pull that through. Yeah. You know, um, I used to, when I was working as an executive assistant, I had, I used to wear acrylic nails, which I loved and I love to this day. Um, they are so, so beautiful. Um, but, uh, well, of course my lifestyle now doesn't really call for acrylic nails. Uh, but, um. With acrylic nails, you can't do little tiny um, things like what I just did because the the acrylic nail gets in the way. Um, but boy, I tell you what, I loved them. They look beautiful. Um, I love when I see ladies um, on YouTube wearing them. Not a lot are doing that these days. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're not popular anymore, but um, they sure make nails look nice. But like I said, um, I live on a farm. My my lifestyle um, doesn't support acrylic nails, but um, boy, they're just so feminine and so pretty. And you can wear any color that you want um, to match your outfits. And of course, I have to match my outfits. Of course I do. Okay, let's go ahead and sit this little girl up. She's just at the age where she's learning how to sit up, as you can see. So um, we'll sit her up and we'll put this little bow on her head. Her little, her little fuzzy, um, fuzzy peach head. See, she's got just, oh, she's got adorable little baby hair. hair. And uh, so there she is. And we're done. 13 minutes, everyone. Wow, that's a... That's a record for me, but I think she looks really good in this color. Um, there's the whole thing. And um, then her little bow goes really well. And then her little heather bunny. Um, the the color has a, a bell. That's why you're hearing a bell. You're not hearing things. <laughs> you're just hearing her collar. So anyway, um, everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. This is... Um, Sophie and her her cuddle bunny Heather, and Heather wants Heather's on her back right now. Wants her belly scratched, so I think that's what she's wanting. Um, anyway, she uh, she's a lop ear, and lop ear bunnies have really long floppy ears like this. I've never owned a lop ear, but I really love um, the looks of them. All my bunnies have been um, the type that the the ears stand straight up, so. Anyway, I got off on a tangent. Um, thanks, everyone, for stopping by. Um, thanks for visiting. Hope to see you soon. And until we meet again, bye-bye.